Hey guys, uh, I've had a lot of questions about getting into motorcycling and there seems to be a lot of confusion regarding what you can do and at what age. I'm going to try and dispel some of that confusion with an easy to understand table and explanation right now. Okay, so you're 16. Uh, my advice to you is wait until you're 17. Uh, basically, you can only ride up to a 50cc moped. You need to do a CBT, which requires no theory. Uh, your CBT is basically a four hour test sort of thing where you'll speak to an instructor, he'll tell you about what you're gonna do, you'll spend a bit of time riding around on off-road, then you'll go on the road for like an hour and then you'll come back and then you get your little white piece of paper which says that you're allowed to ride around on the road for two years as a provisional learner. I personally don't believe in the system, I think it's a bit rushed, um, it's not very safe, I certainly wasn't confident when I was given my CBT, but anyway. You must show your L plates on a CBT. Uh, optional, you can do a mod 1 and mod 2 test, so you no longer need to show L plates. And this requires a theory exam. I wouldn't bother with this. Uh, 16 years old on a 50cc moped, this has almost no advantages. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so you're 17. You can do your CBT again, uh, exactly the same. You can do it right up to a 125 now though. 125 moped or motorcycle. CBT required, no theory. Gives you two years on the road as a provisional learner, more show L plates. Now, at this point, you can do a mod one and mod two test, so you no longer need to show L plates. Nobody likes L plates. Uh, which allows you to travel in Europe as uh, an added bonus. Uh, this requires a, th a theory exam for the whole thing. This will give you an A1 license. The A1 license uh, lets you travel in Europe, um, lets you ride a 125 motorcycle with an engine power of 11 kilowatts or 15 brake horsepower max. You can carry pillions and use the motorway. So, do you see the advantages from a 50cc moped that you can't take on the motorway? The only benefit you're getting from doing your, your Mod 1 and Mod 2 test at 16 is you don't have to show your plates. It's pointless, it's a waste of money. Um, I mean, at 16 anyway, I, I wouldn't even bother. I'd just wait until you're 17 and then go and get your 125. I mean, unless you really need something to run around. I don't know, maybe you're working. I wasn't working at 16, but I know some people do. Now, when you're 19 years old, you can ride up to a 125 CBT, exactly the same as before. Um, optional, you can do your Mod 1 and Mod 2 tests so you no longer need to show L play, same as before. But at 19, this will give you an A2 license. An A2 license lets you ride up to a 400cc motorcycles with an engine power of up to 35 kilowatts or 46 brake horsepower max. You can carry pinions and use the motorway. You're 19 years old, I don't know, maybe you're into dirt bikes, whatever, but you know, you want a bit more power, you want your 400cc, this is totally up to you. But your A2 license is critical if you're going for your full license at a younger age. Now this is where people get confused because when you're, <laughs> this is where people say, you know, oh, I've seen oh, my mate's only 21 and he's got a full license, da 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 da. But you know, I've heard somewhere else that you need to be 24, whatever. This is gonna explain it, okay? If you're 21 years old and you've held your A2 license, which you got at 19, for two years, you can do a mod one and mod two tests, and this will give you, and obviously theory, and this will give you an A license. An A license lets you ride any size engine motorcycle with unlimited power. Okay, this is basically your full license. You can carry pillions, use the motorway, go to Europe, do whatever. If you haven't got your A2 license, let's say you was on your CBT for a year when you were 19, and you decided to do mod one and and two tests and uh, get your A2 license and you're 20. You then have to wait two years. So you'd have to wait two years for the you to then get your full license, okay? If you're patient, like, like I was, you can just wait till you're 24. Uh, you, you can literally wait till you're 24 and you can do what's called a direct access course. You do your mod one, you do your mod two, you do your theory, 
and there you go you've got an A license um, I mean me personally what I did I, I got a CBT I didn't need to do this because uh, I was I think I was 23 at the time but the law hadn't changed at that point um, I had a CBT for a year and a half and I felt that that allowed me to gain more respect for the road being on two wheels um, I do think it's important to gain that respect for the road and I don't think you can do that if you just jump onto a big bike I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who disagree with me and say you know I, ju I just did my full test and jumped on a 1200 bandit straight off the go uh, that, it's totally up to you personally I wouldn't recommend it so yeah basically that's it the only confusing part is this A2 to full license nonsense I mean I don't know why they do this I'm assuming it's because you know they think younger people are more irresponsible blah 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 that's why the age for a, a full license went from 21 years old to 24 but this is how it is now and I hope that's cleared up a lot of confusion um, a couple of other things if, if you have a full car license before I think it's the 1st of February 2001 you can jump on a 50cc scooter without needing a CBT might be interesting for somebody out there who's just looking for a quick commuter to work uh, the other thing is costs uh, CBT can cost from 80 to 120 pounds um, your mod 1 test 16 pounds because it's quite a short test that's not including bike hire though bike hire can be you know 50 pounds so you're paying 15 pound 50 pound for the bike and you're paying 16 pound for the test it does rack up and you know to fail your mod 2 test you're looking at like 120 pound so it's something to consider when you're doing your lessons i mean you obviously at, the, at one point you're thinking our oh, lessons like as it says here can be anything from 15 pound to 35 pound an hour but if you're getting those lessons in it might be worth it in the long run because you might be saving money not having to redo your test I mean I passed my mod 1 and mod 2 the first time I was quite lucky um, your theory test will be 23 pounds your theory test will last you for two years from whenever you've done it um, which obviously means I mean if you go back and you're doing your A2 license to then do your full license you've got to do your theory test twice it's just something to consider money wise bike hire depends on instructor it's about 50 pounds um, if you've got your own gear that might save you a tenner here and there so hopefully this has been helpful um, and it's dispelled a lot of confusion about ages and what you need what you don't need um, if there's anything I haven't it, uh, covered if there's anything I've missed anything you want to know leave a message in the comments I'll, I'll be sure to uh, reply to you alright thanks guys